clear back there. Yeah. All right. Thank Good. you, Jim. Okay. Thank you so okay. much. All right, thank you. Thank hey, listen, uh, Jim, Amy, so great to have you all uh, here in Lynchburg today. And, and, and most important, I thank you all for being here. And I thank you for the great honor uh, that you've bestowed upon us in, uh, in, in, in presenting this award. Um, but more important than that, more important than recognition of individual legislators, which is so important, which is so important, but more important, uh, I think, is the fact, is the fact that, uh, that this group, that this group and, and, and the group that you all support and are a part of is out there telling the truth about what's going on in, in, in Washington uh, and telling the truth about, about who is really looking out uh, for, the, for those uh, who have uh, paid in to the Medicare and Social Security systems, uh, telling the truth ab about the fact that what politicians for the last 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years have been doing in Washington is pigging out at the trough, making promises that they can't keep, and then going back to their constituents and telling them everything is okay, and come to find out, come to find out, because of the hard work of telling the truth that, that organizations like this and people like Paul Ryan are doing, come to find out it's not true. We've got $16 trillion in debt, and everybody knows, everybody knows, everybody, Democrats, independents, and Republicans know that if we continue on this course, we are going to not only lose Medicare and Social Security, but we're going to pull down this whole great nation, and we're going to make sure that we hand off to our children and grandchildren a poorer nation, not a better nation, but a poorer nation. And so I thank you all for what you all are doing. You know, I've been proud to, uh, to work with those on the, on the House side in Congress to, uh, to, 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 first of all, be honest to the American people, be honest to the people of Virginia, and be honest to the people of the 5th District, and say, look, this is where we are, and this is what we need to do to fix it. If we act now, we can save Medicare for all those persons uh, who have paid into it. We can save the program and preserve it for future generations, but we're going to have to make some decisions. And if we do it now, we have the possibility, we have the opportunity, I should say, we have the opportunity to do it in a way that preserves it completely uh, and, and unchanged for all those persons who are currently in the program, which is a, a, obviously a vast number, but preserve it for everybody in exactly the same form it is for anybody who's in it or is going to be in it in the near future, but also make changes to it so it'll be around for generations to come. And that's the story that you're telling. And I can tell you, the other side isn't telling the truth. The other side is out there making people terrified uh, for the future of their own financial stability. Uh, and it's wrong. It's totally wrong. So thank you all for standing up to the truth. Thank you for standing up for the truth. Thank you for, uh, for your support of, of, of our efforts. Thank you for the support of uh, Dr. Garrett and the good work that he's doing in, general, in the General Assembly of Virginia to stand up for the same principles uh, that we stand up for. And uh, God bless you, God bless your family, and God bless this wonderful, great country, the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you.